shows Philip Seymour Hoffman as Origin sitting in his office. Jan Hooks on the intercom. Mr. Origin, President Bush is here to see you. Hoffman. Thank you, Miss Hooker. Send him in. Hoffman stands up and shakes George Bush's hand as Bush enters the room. Hoffman. President Bush, it's an honor to have you here. Please, sit down. Bush. Thank you, Mr. Origin. I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate that this show has been scrubbed at that god-awful Mr. Murphy. Hoffman. It's been a pleasure to be of service, Mr. President. Bush. However, I still have a bone to pick with the production. Hoffman. Well, what's that? Bush. Well, there seems to be a bit of a drug problem among the cast. I've been briefed that Mr. Murphy was able to coerce the cast into performing various sketches involving misinformation based on their rampant drug use. Now, Farley, Belushi, whatever. But I think that Philip Seymour Hoffman could really be an asset if we were to clean him up. I thought his portrayal of Mr. Murphy really muddied the waters and let misinformation run amok. Do you think you could talk to him? Hoffman. Mr. President, I believe that Mr. Hoffman has been sober for over eight years. There must be some kind of mistake. Bush. Well... I received written correspondence from someone deep undercover that Mr. Hoffman has been paling around a lot with Jerry Stiller, a known drug pusher. Perhaps it's just a coincidence, but I'd appreciate it if you looked into it for me. Hoffman. Very well, Mr. President. Bush gets up and says, before I go, who are you having host the next episode? Hoffman. Osama bin Laden, Mr. President. Bush. Is that right? You know, I just met with his brother this morning. Interesting family, those bin Ladens. Hoffman. Would you care to make a cameo, sir? Bush. Not gonna do it. Cuts to Jerry Stiller as Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Phil Hartman as Jerry Stiller sitting on a street curb. Shows Hoffman perched behind a mailbox several yards away, peering at them with binoculars. Stiller. Come on, Jerry, I'm bored sitting on this car. Let's go perform some Shakespeare in the park or something. Hartman. If you're so bored, Philly, I got something that could make things a bit more fun for you. Hartman shows Stiller a joint. Stiller. Jerry. Is that... Is that marijuana? Hartman. That's right, Phil. And I'm going to smoke it and get high before dress rehearsal. Are you in? Stiller. Well, I don't know, Jerry. I don't think I should take any drugs. It's been over eight years. John Belushi, Chris Farley, and Norm MacDonald come by smoking a joint. Belushi. What's the matter, Phil? Are you chicken or something? Farley, yeah, Phil, we're the cool dudes, and we're doing it. Don't you want to be cool? McDonald, come on, Phil, we're your peers. You wouldn't want your peers to think less of you for not smoking cannabis with them, would you? Turin Block, as a Hill Street Blues police officer, approaches the group. The five men all run. Cuts to Stiller and Hartman breathing heavily in an alley. Hartman. So what do you say, Phil? How about you get high? Hoffman approaches them. Hoffman. Don't do it, Phil. Stiller. Mr. Origin, sir. What are you doing here? Hoffman. Mr. Hoffman, sir. I have been tasked with ridding this production of misinformation. I need some good soldiers like yourself. Are you willing to say no to drugs? Remind people who somehow still aren't vaxxed to get vaxxed? And explain to the people that any accusations against the left are the product of reactionary conservatives clinging to their false claims without evidence? Stiller takes the drag of the joint and says, I'll say whatever you want me to say as long as you pay me. And lie from Origin's phone. We're not alive. It's Saturday Night Live. Neuter. Starring an ever-evolving cast 
that has been castrated and refuses to allow their names to be mentioned until their balls are back. Musical guest, Shanka Dukare, and your host, Osama Bin Laden. Ladies and gentlemen, Osama Bin Laden. Tepid applause. Bin Laden. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. I want to thank the Central Intelligence Agency for providing several billion dollars worth of financial aid and weapons to the Mujahideen through Pakistan's inter-service intelligence in our fight against the Soviets in the Soviet-Afghan war. Bin Laden is distracted by something backstage. Bin Laden rolls his eyes and says, however, I wish to apologize for having lost my way. Instead of treating Americans as friends, I treated them as enemies. I had falsely claimed, without evidence, that U.S. foreign policy had oppressed, killed, or otherwise harmed Muslims in the Middle East. My cable provider at the time did not have CNN. And of course, I apologize for the acts of terror that occurred on September 11th, 2001. However, Osama bin Laden's statements regarding September 11th have been redacted. I know that much of that, what I just said, can be difficult to process. But I thank you for indulging me with my explanation. John Belushi, in army fatigues and smoking a cigar, comes onto the stage with a tank and rolls over Bin Laden. Belushi, yippee ki motherfucker. Chris Farley comes out. Hey, everybody! We're going to dust Mr. Bin Laden off and have a great show tonight. Shaka Dukare, singer from the new Elvis movie, is here. Even though Osama posts music on religious grounds. And I wanted to remind everyone to make sure to get vaccinated for COVID-19. The current administered vaccines are approved and confirmed to be safe and effective by local health authorities and the World Health Organization. And don't forget your boosters. We'll be right back. 